Hey everybody, Dirty Dan here. Freeze. <laughs> gonna get better control over all these clones hey everybody dirty dan here well actual dan here i hope you guys liked the little intro i did i thought it was pretty funny uh so today i'm gonna show you all the stuff i got in a little trade deal between me and gopro noppers trains uh i sent him a river Rossi president washington which i already have another one and I didn't really need it, uh, I never run it, and I'm not a huge River Rossi collector, so I figured he could use a little bit more than me. Um, and he had some cars that I wanted, which, let me grab them, because you guys may remember I have an Amtrak E60 I got from Max's Hobby Productions, thank you. Um, two Superliner cars, or Amfleet cars, I don't remember what they're called, I think they're Amfleets. Um, let me read the box, yep, uh, Amtrak Fleet Coach. So I got two more, uh, I already got one, um, which I don't think I did a video on. Um, but yeah, I, I already have one, so now I have three. Um, and those were originally all I was supposed to get. Uh, but then he said he included some other things. So, let's look at them. There was a few really cool things, uh, and there were some few just parts and pieces. So, let's go over them now. Uh, I got the worst thing, this Redding Hopper, which is destroyed. I don't even know what I'm gonna use this for, if I can use it for anything at all. Uh... It's there. It's filthy, um, and yeah, doesn't really have much of a use, but still pretty cool. Um, we got a Tyco motor and a back truck for apparently this, but I don't think so because this already has a truck carrier in it, and this has one on it. So I don't, and it has the wrong truck cover. So I don't think this went to this. Um, but you never know. This is actually a really rare shell because it, they only made this seal on this one. So, hard to find. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, I got this. Uh, the motor is not even connected to the wheels. So, that's uh, another thing. And I think somebody actually converted it to a dummy. Uh, and if you look inside, you probably can't see it. But the armature looks completely burnt. Like, it, it's black. Like, completely black. Um, so, that doesn't look real good. So, but we did get a Tyco block and a back truck. So, if I find a shell, I want to put it in. We got one. Uh, let me find the next, you know, normal thing. Uh, well, this may look like Tyco at first. Not Tyco, actually. Because Tyco and Bachman made almost this exact same boxcar. This one's Bachman. You can tell from the trucks. And it says Bachman on the bottom. And it has a little bit different livery. But Tyco made almost an exact replica of this boxcar. So, yeah. They made the exact same boxcar. Uh, and I always thought that was pretty funny. Um... Got a little UP gondola. It has a knuckle on one end and a horn hook. I'm assuming this was some sort of transition car, but we have an issue. The horn hook is, like, destroyed, so I can't really use it as a transition era car, uh, or transition car, uh, whatever you want to call it. So I'm probably just going to put a new horn hook on there. Uh, and then uh, we have, we get into more interesting things, a lifelike operating hopper. I never thought I'd see one of these. These are kind of hard to find. Um, you can see as you pull down on the little piece here, the gate's open. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and I've been wanting one of these for a while. I haven't gotten the loader yet, but I've, I've seen them everywhere, and I'm really hoping to get one. Uh, I have nowhere to put it, but I always just wanted the accessory for, you know, whenever I do build a different layout, uh, I'd like to have it. Because, you know, I'm going to have this layout for a while. Uh, also, don't mind that little loop. That will be coming in a future video. I definitely didn't put an end scale loop on the layout. Uh, but anyways, so, yeah, operating hopper. Somebody's at the door. The dog is barking, and the doorbell went off. Uh, but besides the door, uh, we got this little number. Got a crane. Uh, which, yeah, I mean, this is pretty cool. Uh, he actually has the claw and everything for it, because it wasn't on it. Uh... So we're going to have to wait for the claw and everything to come in. But for now, it's just going to sit around. Because you can see there's like this metal piece hanging off. Yeah, that would actually the claw. But uh, I don't have the claw. So uh, we need the claw. Uh, and then we get into the two main attractions. We have the first of three or four. I don't remember. I don't remember. DC Comics box car. He had the Superman box car. I didn't think I'd get this off of him. But as a surprise, he threw it in there. 
Um, and this one's in real good shape. Uh, not many scratches or, you know, anything on it. A little bit dusty, but that can be cleaned. Uh, but yeah, it's really a beautiful box car. And it's almost a little bit of an error. Uh, the eyes, the white spot on the eyes is a little bit off and the mouth is not really centered. So it's not painted super well. Um, and I like that. Uh, but yeah, so pretty cool box car. And I like the fact it's got that little error on there. I always love error cars. Uh, so that makes it even more interesting. All right, now we get into the crown jewel. You guys are going to think I'm stupid for calling this the crown jewel, but it's a pretty rare Tyco piece. And it's pretty awesome. So here it is. Yep, I got a Canadian Pacific observation. Now, I know this thing is in horrific condition. I'm perfectly aware. The wheels, you can't even tell which wheel is brass and which one's not. You can't tell which is the pickup wheel. It's so rusted that there's no clean metal on this at all. It's it's horrific. I've never seen anything like this, except for on those Atlantic Coastline cars I bought, but those are nowhere near this, um, which I think we're going to do a whole video on restoring passenger cars with those. Um, honestly, I love the decals on it. I love the colors. I love the little emblem here. It's so cool. The little, um, what, the beaver. You can kind of see it. The camera won't focus. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And these truck frames, yeah, they're supposed to be black, not the corrosion white color. So we got a lot of work to do on this thing. But it's aws It's honestly an awesome car. I just need uh, the coach and the combine now. Uh, it's one of the later plastic cars. He originally told me it was an aluminum car. And I was psyched because I didn't think they ever made them. Uh, I was thinking maybe it's a pre-pod or... And then and then he showed me a picture and I'm like, oh, that's just a plastic car. But still, an awesome car nonetheless. Um, that doesn't devalue it at all. It's still awesome. Um, but yeah, a pretty cool car. It's just a little bit of a shame that it's scratched up but, uh, so much. Um, but really, all the lettering is still there. You can still tell exactly what it is. Um, and yeah, it's a car I, ha I don't have. And it filled another gap in my collection. Um, I almost forgot. There is one more thing. Uh, let me find it. Uh, it around here. Here it is. Um, this is another gap filler in the collection. Railbox Boxcar. This is the third variation. I now have the second, third, and fourth. I don't have that first variation, which is ex this exact same boxcar, but has black doors and these little arrows, they're red and blue. So if anyone happens to have, have one or see one, let me know, because I'm really looking for that last variation. Uh, because now I have almost all of them. Uh, I can actually show you. Here's the fourth variation, which some of you may recognize this car. This is from the last Chattanooga set, um, which I have the entire set. Um, but, uh, yeah, now I have almost all four variations, and I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, honestly, I can't thank, uh, GoPro and Opera enough for this. Uh, I mean, it's just awesome. This was an amazing gift. I would have never thought I would have got all this stuff. Um... But I was originally looking for these, but now, honestly, I think the best part of this deal was this. Because, I mean, this is way better than these. Um, but yeah, these are still awesome. Um, and, they're, and they're new in the box. And I don't know if you can tell me, but I don't think this was there when he bought them. I think the Postal Service has once again ruined my boxes. Um, I'm looking for you, Postal Service. Yeah, you better watch out. I'm coming. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this whole video on all this purchases or trades i've been doing a lot of trading i think i'm gonna stop because i kind of want to start keeping the stuff i have um but yeah uh i really hope you guys enjoyed um just a little update on you know collection stuff uh but yeah i figured it was worth my time to share this uh because i haven't done a haul or anything really super recently um i think we're gonna do more restorations i'm sorry i haven't been producing videos as much as often uh, school and, uh, laziness. Um, but yeah, we're getting back on track. Um, and recently I ran across a video. I'm still deciding whether I want to do a video on it. It's a review that honestly, uh, like made me deeply infuriated and sad at the same time. It's basically a kid destroying a Tyco boxcar because no particular reason, just for a video. And it's honestly pretty sad and aggravating because it's, the the boxcar is fine. He plays it off as it's such a horrible boxcar, and it's just another Tyco hater, which 
I don't fr frankly care. It's your stuff. Do whatever. And it was a mint and box car, which also kind of makes me a little sad, but it's his stuff. He can do whatever. I'm not saying he's not allowed to do that, but just a little sad people being ungrateful. Uh, that's really stupid. Uh, you know, you're just wasting your time destroying a box car. It's just, it's just not worth it. Why would you do that? It's just, it makes no sense anyway. So, uh, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Besides that, uh, I'm not going to get into the giant rant about how I don't like people destroying stuff because it's ungrateful. Um, not going to judge them. Just, I don't think I'm going to make the video because I have a feeling it's going to be really controversial and I'm going to get some bad feedback from it. So I'm not that dumb. I don't think I'm going to make it, but still, I wanted to make a little point about it because it does make me upset. But anyway, so I'm going to stop talking about that. So, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, just subscribe if you want. I don't care. Uh, subscribe if you like the videos, I guess. That's the only reason I can think of. Uh, which the videos are subpar. Uh, yeah, that's about it. And I guess, I don't know. I hope another clone doesn't get here. Because he might take over the channel. I don't know. We, we, we may never know. You know, he, the, the clone could kill Dan. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm gonna stop messing around with clones, uh, cause it seems like it's not going very well. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm gonna see you next time.